welcome back. I have something a little bit different this time. Um, so it is another unboxing. But this is something I've not done before. So I was contacted by this company, um, VIP Cross Stitch, I believe they are called, asking me if I would fancy trying cross stitch. And like I said, it's not something I have done before. I think the last time I did a cross stitch, I was in junior school. Um, so that was a long time ago. However, I love anything crafty and obviously diamond painting is sort of a version of cross stitch and I see a lot of other people doing them and I just thought, do you know what, I'd, I'll give it a go, um, why not, I'll try them and see what I think to it. So yeah, I'm quite excited for this, it's like it's not something I've done before so it's going to take, there's going to be a learning curve with this so... And obviously remember I am no expert on cross stitch um, I'm literally just going to open these up and have a look at them and see what I think to them. Some of you guys watching will probably be so much better at this than I am because you've probably done it before. I haven't but I just really fancied trying it and having something else to distract me from life sometimes. <laughs> so they have sent me, uh, I think they sent me a couple of items so... Again, I had did have to open it just to double check which package it was. So yeah, let's get into this. I think there's two in here. Yeah. Two? Oh, we've got three. Did I order three? I don't remember. I don't remember ordering three. Maybe I did. I don't remember. So anyway, like I said, these are... I tried to sort of do a bit of research about what would be best for beginners and i think i've figured it out so let's have a little look so the first one i chose is this now i thought you know this looks not too bad size wise this is a 25 by 29 it's a 14 count um it's a pre-printed um picture this one so i thought that'd probably be quite good for me to start with maybe <laughs> yeah i just thought if it's pre-printed um i just thought it'd be a little bit easier for me to sort of start on this one and see how i feel so yeah it does say at the top joy sunday cross stitch um pre-printed fabric and dispensable chart reading and it contains the cotton fabric the thread the needle and the instructions which is all good and i just loved this picture so it's this sort of mermaid siren with a dolphin behind I just thought it was beautiful. Or two dolphins behind her. And um, there's not much. I don't think we do the background on this. So I thought with it just being the main image to do. It would be a really good starting point. So there we go. So let's get into this. And I can sort of have a look at my first ever cross stitch. I'm really excited for this. So I love how it's packaged. Um, the back of the packaging does actually give me all the instructions. So talks me about choosing strands, um, the difference between 11 count and 14 count, which is really good. Tells me that I'm glad they've told me because I don't know. Um, how to choose your thread colour. So I'm presuming it's very similar to sort of choosing your drills when you're doing your diamond painting. Um, sort of how to figure out which one to go and how to basically do a stitch. And then it's telling me on here... The different types of stitches so the whole stitch half stitch quarter stitch three quarter stitch continuous back stitch cast off and french knots so really really good instruction this is what i was a little bit worried about um not knowing what to do but i think this is pretty good uh sort of showing me the basics um and then we've got basic notes here um just again some more instructions um and then about cleaning and how to finish it off so yeah, that, that's a really, really informative packaging. Comes with the front sheet there. And then on the back of that is this. Oh, wow. Oh, now I'm starting to get scared. <laughs> so obviously this is the chart telling me um, what I'm actually stitching. So that's the top half and then we've got the bottom half. And obviously it's showing me the different colours. So these are the colours we have. Obviously, these correlate to DMC codes. So, yeah, I thought it'd be pretty good. So, we've got 22 different colours on this one. And, like I said, you get your symbol number, your symbol and your DMC code. So, very similar to a legend on a diamond painting. 
cool i then have my thread wow so these are all my thread colors um like i said it's the first time i've ever even opened one so this is all very new to me but i love the colors some of my favorite i love sort of teals and turquoises so oh and it does actually tell me um the numbers on here i get my little needles in here so i've got two needles in there in this little package um, it's telling me it's a 14 count, so I need to use two threads, which is really helpful. And they're sort of all there, packaged really nicely. And then I get my little canvas, which is just adorable. Oh my God, I love it. So it looks different colours to the one that's on there, but I'm presuming that's maybe just to guide me. So, for example, number 12, which is this, is, oh yeah, so number 12 is actually a blue. So it's just sort of, the colours are on there a little bit different, just obviously to make it easy for me to know where I'm going. Um, but yeah, I I love this. Oh, so this is what it's called. It's called the 12 Zodiac Pisces, so it's actually a Pisces one, but I just saw Mermaid and wanted it. So, yeah, it's obviously got the grid lines on there. Um, I'm presuming I don't drill the back um i'm sure i don't but yeah it's beautiful i really really like it really really pretty so colorful i'm really excited so yeah it tells me obviously the numbers i need um but obviously i've also got my chart here to follow as well so this is going to be interesting really interesting I'm really excited to try it. So yeah, that's my first ever cross stitch opened and I cannot wait, to be honest with you. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I think they've done a really good job for someone like me who's a beginner and that's what I wanted to check out. I wanted to see if um, it was suitable for someone who didn't, you know, who's not done it before. Um, I just love them. Really, really good. So let's go on to kit number two, which is this one. So I think this is the same. Um, yeah, it's a 14 count, two thread, 21 by 30. And this is the image of this one. Um, I will pop them up on the screen as we go along so you can sort of see the details on there. Um, and it comes with the same um, contents as the last one. This is a winter night scene two, it says. And as you can see, it's this beautiful sort of just dark winter's night with this lake. We've got deer and a church in the background all lit up. So it was a really, really pretty picture. Um, so I hope it's all right for the size. Like I said, because I'm new to this, I don't know about sizes with cross stitch. I don't know what's going to work, what's not going to work. So that's why I went for this one to sort of give me an idea and a base. So obviously if it's not big enough, I know for next time if I do enjoy it. And again, we've got exactly the same instructions as last time, just explaining how to do this. Mm, so excited. So like I said, that's our front page. And then we get our chart. Oh, wow. So this is the top half, which is the church and the trees and the sky. And then we get the bottom half, which is the deer and the lake. Um, and all the details are down on there. It looks like we've got 23, maybe? 23 colours. So it's telling me I need to do a full stitch with all 23 colours. I'm doing a French knot with these two colours. And a back stitch with these ones. So, hmm. Yeah. This is where it starts to get a bit more complicated. So this is like the second, this is like a step up from the first one. <laughs> um but like i said i'm really really interested to try it i really really want to do this um this is sort of easy for me to take with me when i'm visiting family or you know i can't sort of sit at my desk if i'm working on um models for my business which obviously takes up my whole desk i can sort of sit and do this on the sofa so i just really wanted to try something a little bit different so Obviously, this is a bit more advanced than the first one, which I knew it would be, but I'll get on with the first one and see how I feel. 
got a bit more thread to this one so we've got our needles again in there i've got two needles in there um and again it's telling me 14 count two threads um so i've got 24 colors on here oh yeah sorry so yeah 23 colors do the full stitch and then we've got a 24th color um to do the back stitch which i presume is like the outlines and the tiny details and again all the threads just beautiful really nicely um sort of packaged really gorgeous colors just lots of purples and blues and then some beautiful sort of yellows and oranges for accents and some black really really pretty oh, i am so excited for this one so that's my chart and my thread and my needles and then oh hold on so it's quite a narrow um picture and like i said i'm not sure whether i'm presuming the detail will come out all right but like i said it's it's all very new to me so i don't know um yeah it is smaller than i thought it would be this one but um i'm presuming you get a lot more detail with cross stitch than you do with diamond painting so i didn't want to go too big um just starting out um i know that's a mistake that you're making diamond painting going too small to start out but i just thought with cross stitch it may be easier so we will see how i get on with the first one and then if i dare move on to this one but i i absolutely love those pictures i think they're absolutely gorgeous i think the sizes are probably safe for me um to start out with but i'm really excited i think they're really really pretty and i do want to try and hopefully i can hopefully i can do them i hope um so we'll see so yeah that's the um second one like i said it's very it looks very similar to a uh, diamond painting picture this way which i presume you could use these for um sort of doing uh what do you call it you could sort of use those charts as um diamond painting which is pretty cool so yep yeah, i'm very excited and i really really like this one think it's absolutely beautiful so anyway this is the third one this one looks a little bit scarier <laughs> um it's a bit bigger this one it's got a few more things with it so i'm not quite sure mm, it's a bit scary but we're gonna open it up and figure out what i ordered and what i'm gonna have to try and do oh gosh i've got a lot of things in here why is this so different someone tell me why this one's so different so this is it's not that big really is it it's just me being you know a wuss <laughs> um so this is a little bit different this one this is comes on like a bigger chart it has got the instructions on there i'm not sure what sort of count this one is or anything does it tell me somewhere i can't see where it tells me um i'm not sure i'll have to try and figure maybe it'll be on the um description because it's not on there um and like i said it, obviously a lot of it is in um sort of this down here is i can't read this but let me have a quick look on here so anyway the image is this which i think is beautiful um and i will put the stock image up for you it's an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous um image of this gorgeous dragon with all these colors on very similar instructions to what's on the back it's exactly the same instructions up on the on the back of the other ones it's just i can't see where this one tells me oh does this mean it's an 11 count maybe um this feels quite big i'm gonna open that in a minute because i'm quite scared um i don't know what all this stuff is i have absolutely no idea we've got a little picker yeah so i've got a little thread picker i know what that is i use that at work I don't know what this is um my needles are on very tiny cute little cute pom-pom sort of pin cushion thing and then i presume that's i don't know what these are anyone who does cross stitch please tell me what these are i'm gonna have to go and watch a lot of youtube videos aren't i for this this is advanced for me what was i thinking <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking um i'm quite scared now um so yeah if anyone's done cross stitch 
please explain what this white thing and this um metal thing is i don't know what it is is that to i don't know and i don't know what this gold thing is is that like a symbol thing is that what that is yeah you can t maybe i shouldn't be doing this <laughs> oh no but it was such a beautiful picture i'm just i'm really scared now that i've sort of taken on too much but anyway i've got the other two which are smaller and i will be doing those way before i even attempt this thing uh my mum's actually really good at this she used to do this a lot when i was younger so i might have to take this to her <laughs> and have her tell me what i'm doing because i have absolutely no idea so let me get this let me open this because this looks a bit bigger than the other ones and let me see what the oh oh this is this is a lot bigger this this is a lot oh my goodness this is big oh this is big it's beautiful but this is big this is like six times bigger than the other ones <laughs> oh no wow but it is beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous and this one we actually have like a legend on this side we've got 36 different colors in this one which is a lot it's a lot um yeah i'm gonna need some help <laughs> but it's beautiful gorgeous big round picture with this dragon on it is just beautiful am i supposed to do the background on these i don't know if i am but do you cut it out when you're done I, I don't really understand how i'm supposed to finish it off but i suppose that's why i'm supposed to watch the youtube videos aren't i yeah, I'm going to have to watch lots more videos because I have no idea what's going on. And, oh my goodness, this is a lot. Okay, so we get these. Does it tell me what colour's which? Oh, I've got three turns. So I've got two of these in three turns, which is the black. Um, that's a lot of cotton. Wow, and then I've got, is that 823 or something like that? Yep, that's 823, so that's another big one. So obviously they're going to be my background colours, um, which is a lot of cotton. And then I've got all the others on here. Mm, I'm so scared. Someone tell me it's going to be okay. <laughs> Please. Um, wow. This is going to take a lot of sorting out. Yeah, I may be doing this in a few years' time when I, you know, I feel like I can actually figure out what I'm doing with my life <gasps> there's so many oh my goodness so yeah like I said there's 36 colours so we've got a full one of this one which goes up to 32 and as you can I mean the colours are just absolutely beautiful and um, we've got some quite a lot of the sort of this green colour and then just a couple of bits of so, some other colours Um, all the numbers are on there so it, it's very well set out I just don't know if I'm supposed to do in 11 count or 14 count, but I think it's 11 because of what it said up at the top. Um, but I will have to check the listing to double check. But these colours are beautiful. There's so much cotton on this. This is a big kit and I am absolutely terrified that I've took on far too much. Um, yeah and then we've got some a few more colors just on this one up to 36 like jewel colors on that one and obviously our ones on there as well so lots of colors very very scary um really no idea what i'm doing absolutely no idea um but yeah that i'm i don't want anyone watching this thinking oh she's never done it before she's gonna try and do that i'm not i'm going to do the little mermaid one first um and see how i get on then i'll move on so i think i've got sort of three different stages i've got the first one which is just basic cross stitch i've got the second one which is still quite small but it's got like the cross stitch the back stitch and the knots and stuff in there as well um and then obviously this is way advanced but you know if i like it i presume you know i'll move on to more advanced kits like this and i do think it's a gorgeous gorgeous kit um i'm just very scared 
and I hope I can manage it because I do really really like it um, I just need someone to tell me what these things are but I am don't worry when before I even start the little one I will be watching YouTube videos and asking my mum because I don't have a clue but I am very excited and I am really really grateful to the company for sending these over to me and giving me the opportunity to try something different because you know I love I love diamond painting I absolutely do um but like I said being crafty and loving art you always want to try something a little bit different so yeah I am very excited um, obviously make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll be doing updates um and if I'm having a breakdown because I can't do the basic one then um this one may go to my mum <laughs> but yeah thank you so much this company for sending these over to me I'm really really grateful for you giving me the opportunity to try something different great kits with loads of instructions on them so you know if I can't follow them then ugh, maybe I shouldn't be doing them <laughs> um I think they've been really well set out really well packaged really good clear instructions good charts on them um, I love that there's all the DMC codes, the threads have been packaged nicely. Um, so yeah, very excited. Thank you so much. And thank you to you guys for watching. Um, yeah, you probably basically just listened to me moan about how I'm not going to be able to do this for the last 20 minutes. But hey, <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit different. I told you it was a bit of a different video. Um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. And if anyone knows what those things are that I need to use, please tell me. Or tell me what video I need to go and watch. <laughs> so, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.